Okay, Mike, tell us what we're doing here in Christiansburg today. Well, we are operating Amateur Radio Field Day, and uh, we are having some help from our friends at the Near Southwest Preparedness Alliance. It's a group of hospitals here in the region uh, that have gotten together after September 11th to uh, you get backup communications, and of course, ham radio plays a very big role in that, and um, they have let us use our use their communications trailer today. Hey, tell us a little bit about what Field Day is all about, too. Well, Field Day is a ham radio event that tests our emergency preparedness. Um, we go out in the field where we normally don't set up our equipment and uh, erect antennas and that type of thing and make contact with thousands of other ham radio operators across the country. Uh, we do this using emergency power like today we're running off generators uh, completely here in the parking lot and uh, it's a fun, fun uh, thing to participate in. Uh, if you've never done it before, I invite you to, to participate in a field day one of these days. And how many stations would you say? Thousands? Oh yes, thousands. Thousands, yeah. Thousands across the U.S. and actually other countries participate too. I don't know if they do officially, but they do unofficially. Right, we made uh, contact with Spain today. Uh, so uh, they're active, at least one station over there is. Yeah, this is Teddy's operating um, field day here in Christiansburg. K5YY, is that right? KB5YY. KB, KB5YY. Yeah. Ted, tell, tell us a little about what you're doing here today. Well, we're on 20 meters. We're on phone, making a lot of contacts, almost as many as uh, Mike is making on CW, but we're trying to catch up with him. We've got a lot of people on the air. We've got a lot of stations to uh, to listen to, and I'm just calling back to people who are calling CQ. So it's pretty good propagation out there today? Yeah, it's pretty good. On 20 meters, it's pretty good. We've got a good antenna signal uh, going out, and we're getting a lot of good reports thanks to the antenna we have up there. What, what actually do you have for an antenna? We've just got a dipole doublet. Dipole is working good. It's a lot of fun. I hadn't done this in a while. You've operated other field days, I take it. Oh, yeah. We lived in Louisiana for a time. And we operated there, and then we operated up here with Mike before. Up in the mountains. Great. Well, this is a enjoyable great. hobby. This is a great place to be operating from out of this air-conditioned trailer, isn't it? <laughs> it's good, yeah. On the left, we've got FD, K4FDS, and Chris Davis, KJ4HJR. Camper belongs to Chris Davis and his wife and their children, Zachary and Tiffany. So tuning up, setting up equipment. Nice rigging. Here's a antenna off this vertical pole here. Tell me what. Tell me what you've got here. This is a buddy pole set up as a um, buddy pole vertical with the 80 meter. Low van coil um, at the top. I have the four foot um, shock corded whip, and um, basically you just set it up as a vertical, and then you have a 66 foot counter poise. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons I like the buddy pole because you can operate 80 through two meters, yeah, vertical or horizontal, and it's a very versatile antenna. Well, this is a vertical, as you said, an 80 meter vertical set up on a buddy buddy pole situation here and then the uh, camper the guys are operating in and down off to the right there you see the communication van what band down 20? Yeah, 40. 40. Is there a cab Again, we're in Christiansburg, Virginia here on field day. You see the Regional Healthcare Coordinating Center. This is the communication trailer. If you look along the upper roof there, you'll see about every two feet some UHF, VHF uh, antennas, and of course, satellite antenna up on top, and other antennas out here that are tied into the system. Uh, we're going to take a look at those too. There are some dipole and wire antennas hooked up between the van and this bucket truck. Great operation. Well, this healthcare communications trailer has a, a very large diesel generator built in. Some other auxiliary generators are using here. 
field day can definitely be enjoyable and comfortable and a lot of fun when you have an air-conditioned communication trailer like the New River Valley Wireless Club did this year, Field Day 2009. Field Day provides a great opportunity for amateur radio operators to set up portable operations and practice emergency communications. The New River Wireless Club was fortunate to use this communication trailer owned by the Near Southwest Virginia Preparedness Alliance of 14 hospitals. Amateur radio operators provide emergency backup communication, secondary communication via a network of repeaters from the Southwest Virginia connecting clear to Richmond, Virginia.